Today I want to introduce you to an electric dethatcher, a scarifier, a power rake, whatever the heck you want to call these things. It's the one that next to nobody talks about on YouTube. There's definitely a few references to this unit on, uh, let's call it the broader internet, but in terms of actual demonstration, there's very little out there that I see. To start off, I'd like to say that this is not a sponsored uh, video and I was not provided this product for free. I bought it. I literally wanted to buy this unit for more than a full year. And I finally decided to pull the trigger this fall when it became clear to me that I needed to own a high powered unit capable of dealing with lots of thick stolons and shallow underground rhizomes. I'm talking about the Von Haus electric the thatcher which i bought on amazon for a staggering 229 dollars back on black friday i got no discount of any kind in case you're wondering this just isn't a cheap knockoff this unit has been online and for sale for a long while now years actually although i'm not sure exactly how long and the user reviews from amazon have been consistently high so i felt this was a low risk purchase for me what I liked about the Von Haus, on paper at least, was that this unit was capable of using the flexible tines like a basic power rake, or it could be used with hard tines, like a scarifier, or even a poor man's slit seater, honestly. Those features have become almost expected, however, with Sunjo's super popular offerings over the last few years. I myself even owned and used a Sunjo unit for the past season. Unfortunately, that unit's motor died on me. Uh, back in early fall 2022, so I had to find a replacement, and the Von Haus fit the bill. Although I still own the Greenworks electric dethatcher, and I do love it, it doesn't have a scarifier blade option, which is something I actually need right now for cutting deep into the ground. The Sunjo unit I used earlier in 2022, 2022 was a 13 amp motor and it covered a 15 inch cutting path compared to the Von Haus unit, which also covers 15 inches per pass, but only draws 12 and a half amps. That makes it sound like this might be slightly underpowered, but it feels plenty strong to me. Based on my usage, I've tested this thing at its deepest setting already a few times, and I see no reason to doubt its performance over time. The lower amperage might even preserve the motor over time. Uh, but then again, I don't really know that, I'm just speculating. More importantly, the depth setting on the Von Haus goes down to 0.47 inches below grade compared to only 0.4 inches below grade from the Sunjo unit. Basically, this is more like a mini lawn tiller than Sunjo's unit is, which is better for seeding lawn spaces or for doing uh, light leveling or other lawn space renovations. These are things I'm far more interested in doing these days. Now, it's true that Sunjo has a few different variations of their unit in terms of width and power output, and, uh, and on average, they're less expensive. They even have a battery-powered option, making, uh, making it easy to ditch the power cord uh, or to power rake distant areas of your property. The Von Haus unit just looks and feels a bit more robust. It feels better made, more durable. It's what I would use every time right now except for those areas that I couldn't stretch a cord, uh, an extension cord to. Having owned and used the Greenworks and the Sunjo machines, I feel like the bag on the Von Haus unit is more useful. I'm, I'm not really sure why, uh, but I find myself using it a little bit more often. It's not, uh, it's easy to dump. Uh, it fits right through the handle. The handle can be adjusted up and down easily. Uh, with a dial on the side in case you're really tall or just happen to be really short. And best of all, it's dead simple to switch back and forth from the flexible power raking tines to the hard scarification tines. With only a single Allen wrench screw, you can swap out the bottom in just seconds. Now I've swapped out the tines on the Sunjo unit um, many times, and I found this task to be way simpler on the Mountain House unit. Now, to continue touting its creature comforts, I'm also a big fan of the larger and more maneuverable uh, rear wheels. When not in operation, it's really simple to just uh, wheel this thing around the yard. 
uh, because the wheels are just better. For instance, the Greenworks machine um, that I've had for years, I always find myself picking it up and carrying it instead of wheeling it around, uh, wheeling around the yard because the back wheels are so teeny tiny and they're obstructed under the body of the unit. As you did expect, the Von House machine is also lightweight. It's easy to pick up and carry around, even has a carry handle, but it feels more sturdy, less disposable than the cheaper electric machines that are on the market. Now, I honestly don't know if this machine is actually the best value option, mostly due to its higher cost, uh, nor do I know if it's the best unit either because I haven't used them all. But I do know that I like it and I'm happy with my purchase and I'm going to recommend it for the foreseeable future as a great homeowner grade electric dethatcher, scarifier, power rake. As you would expect, you can find a link to this machine in the description below. I'll be using this unit a lot in the 2023 season and possibly in future years as well. Mostly I'll use it as a scarifier to keep stolen growth and satch at bay, but I may continue using my Greenworks unit for the light power raking jobs. I know that it works well for that and I don't want that machine to collect too much dust in the garage. You can feel free to insert your own Toy Story reference here if you'd like. If you're thinking about buying a unit like this, then make sure to take a look at my comparison article over on the Turf Mechanic website. It outlines all of my thoughts on a variety of the electric dethatcher options that you have today. I also heavily recommend that you watch my video explaining the biggest problem with electric dethatchers, the way that I see it at least. That video is linked right up here in the corner. This machine, the Von House, isn't perfect, but none of them are. Make sure to watch that video and judge for yourself. And be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below, especially if you disagree with me.